You mentioned in a video that after your first year, you developed a kind of love towards mechanical engineering. What did you exactly mean by that? What were you feeling and state of mind that you like mechanical engineering and then worked hard till you got mechanical engineering in second year? Well, those people who do not have uh, a perspective of what Aryan over here is talking about, I have talked about this before. Um, not everything he said is 100% accurate, but I think he just misunderstood a few things that I've said. Uh, but let me let me clarify. So I got into uh, my college uh, after like the freaking last round because I performed like three lakh something something rank in IEEE, did not qualify to J, uh, Comet K rank 17,000 or something. So, so yeah. Uh, you're not getting into top tier colleges. So when I got a college, I got a branch of information technology. And to be precise, that was the last branch of, sorry, last seat of information technology. If you do not know the generally branches ranking in Indian institutes and engineering goes like computer science gets filled up super fast, even back in 2012, then electronics and communication, then mechanical engineering, then probably electrical engineering, civil engineering like that. I, it did not matter to me. I never wanted to do computer science engineering, neither electronics and communication. I wanted to do mechanical engineering before I even got into college. And I think that's what he missed out, that my mind was pretty set even before I got into uh, engineering college. Uh, the first year just confirmed that because in the first year I was like, okay, I'm not sure. Everybody is saying study computer science engineering, better career over there. Let me try it out. So there was a subject of computer science engineering in the first uh, semester or in first couple of semester, there will be one subject from every branch of engineering. And then I did a short course of one to two months in Java to see if I'm fit for computer science engineering or not. And I found out pretty quick, I hated it. <laughs> and and the reason I hated it was because I liked mechanical engineering that much. It's like one moment I'm studying about internal combustion engines and the next moment I'm studying Java. And I really hate this Java thing. All right, you might love Java, good for you. All right, do computer science engineering. But that's how you generally find out what you really love. You are going to hate everything else when you are going to find what you love because that one thing is so freaking fascinating. So the first year just confirmed it. And the reason why I knew even before getting into engineering college that I like mechanical engineering is because I grew up in this place called Heavy Engineering Corporation. And, and that is like really very heavy engineering <laughs> corporation because they're like all the mechanical engineering stuff that you can see starting from foundry and forge and metal cutting and design everything is over there the psu is not doing that well um but but yeah it is one of the what do you call mother industries which helped all the industries around like if you talk about jharkhand and west bengal and bihar area heavy engineering corporation was made to establish the steel plants around that so it is one of the very rare plants where where when you are going to make a complete equipment let us say a um, excavator or a crane you are going to make that complete equipment you're not going to buy parts so you are going to see bolts being fabricated you're going to see molten metal being poured in the what do you call casting mold uh, you're going to see metal cutting, everything being done over there. There's a design department. They're going to design it. Everything is going to be done in-house because that's some mother industry. And it is supposed to do everything because like think about 1950s, India does not have an industry. So you need an industry that does 100% of the stuff and it, it helps all the industries around it. And it was established by Jawaharlal Nehru, the then president, uh, sorry, prime minister, sorry. Um, so... So yeah, and that was the whole idea. And growing up right next to it, I got to see what was going on. Because like I said, it's not a very um, very lucrative or profitable industry. A lot of times it is. it was speculated that it will just shut its door. It would be shut down. Still is. A lot of times people will be confused. A lot of times employees won't be getting paid i did two internships over there saw a lot of protests which is quite common for industries now then i think of it but anyways so 
I used to get in every now and then and see the giant machines and so I wanted to always do that. I wanted to understand the mechanisms and machines. So attracted me always physics attracted me. So so that's that's where I always knew that I wanted to do mechanical engineering. And when I got into college, I had just confirmed. So I worked extremely hard. So the point is that I joined with information technology and the only way to switch branches was to do excellent with your CGPA because there would be a list and uh, there would be a shuffling or people who have applied to switch branches. A lot of people have applied to switch branches, but then from the top, according to your GPA, they will be allocating you branches. And I think I got switched just after my first semester because my CGPA was 9.42. I was the topper in my section and uh, might have done like top 20 or something in my batch or 700 people so so that's that's how it worked out for me and uh, and never regretted it like mechanical engineering yeah it took a lot of time <laughs> developing a career in mechanical engineering is tough it's it's really tough there was a extract from a bangalore seminar a couple of videos back where the guy is saying the same thing like I like mechanical engineering. Sometimes I regret that I did not make a career. And like then I'm asking him that, how much do you really like it though? Because because liking is not good enough. In mechanical engineering, you have to be literally addicted to it. You have to you have to think about machines all the time. If you are that kind of person, then this is the correct path because the path is going to be extremely difficult, man. So like look at me. I did four years of undergraduation, third position in my department, fifth position in the college, 9.57 CGPA, and I did not get a placement, man. There was zero core mechanical engineering companies in my campus. So I appeared in gate examination in my final year itself because I saw the situation, saw the writing on the wall, and I said that I'm going to crack gate examination, do a master's from IIT Bombay, and there's the placement is going to be better over there. And I did not know about ISRO back then. That came out later. So I prepared extremely hard for gate examination, gave like two test series, final year, no coaching institute, went through all the materials I could find and 50 marks in gate examination, 9,008 rank. And what are you going to do now? So I prepared for gate examination again and studied even harder for six more months, gate 2017, 70 marks and... 1825 rank what are you going to do with that did not get any call from psus not even bark i appeared for bark written test like freaking read the book man it's a lot of struggle okay but but if you have a direction if you have a hope that i can make it happen like this then you keep going and uh, that's that's the whole story of my and my passionate love affair with mechanical engineering <laughs> okay all right sorry to my girlfriend